George Blanda's career touched four different decades. He began in 1949 as the Chicago Bears place kicker and quarterback. The 6'2", 215-pound University of Kentucky graduate also saw duty as a linebacker and tailback. But the versatile Blanda considered himself a passer above all else. George Bland is certainly the spark plug of the Bear team today. Georgie Porgy, Pumpkin Pie, fading back for another try. All they After 10 seasons, the Bears and the 31-year-old Blanda parted company. Blanda felt he had never received the respect or the money he deserved from owner and coach George Hallis. Blanda sat out the 1959 season, then in 1960, he began a productive second act of his career with Houston of the American Football League. Blanda was one of the new league's best kickers, and he led the AFL in passing attempts and completions for three consecutive seasons. In 1961, he set a pro record by throwing for 36 touchdowns. During Blanda's first three seasons with the Oilers, they won two consecutive AFL championships. But from 1963 to 1966, Houston steadily declined, and the aging Blanda shouldered most of the blame. Blanda was 39 years old when Houston put him on waivers. But in 1967, the Raiders signed Blanda to be their place kicker. And that season, he led the AFL in scoring. He was also the team's second-string quarterback. George Blanda didn't want to be known as a kicker. George Blanda wanted to be known as a quarterback who kicked. In October of 1970, the 43-year-old Blanda replaced an injured Darryl LaMonica and led a victory over Pittsburgh. Over the next four weeks, his last-minute heroics as a quarterback and kicker engineered three more wins and a tie. George Blanda has handed the incredibly difficult job of about a 47 or 48 yard field goal and here's your ball game 17 14 kansas city the monica will spot at the 48 it's snapped it's down it's kicked it is The string continued against Cleveland when Blanda became the first man in NFL history to throw a game-tying touchdown pass, then kick the game-winning field goal in the same contest. Blanda back to pass. Blanda looks. Blanda throws. Complete touchdown. Well, Raiders score. They're going to try a field goal from 53 yards. The edge against this must be about 76 million to a half. It's 20-20. Left hash mark, straight to the hole. Seven seconds to go. Here it is. Snap, spotted. It. It's kicked. That's got a chance. That is good. It's good. Holy Toledo. The Oakland Raiders, 23. The Cleveland Browns, 20. George Brenda has just been elected king of the world. I think being able to get back in a position to show Mr. Hallis when I left that he said you'll never play in the NFL again and all of a sudden at age 43 I'm playing back in the NFL in 1970 and doing all these things you know and, and I'm sure I, uh, many times I thought take that George Hallis you know. The ageless wonders exploits captured the imagination of the entire country during this remarkable stretch. Everyone could associate with him. You know, I mean young people would look up to him and say, look at what this guy's doing. Old people would say, how the hell is he doing that? Wives would say to their husbands, look, this guy's 45 years old. Why can't you mow the lawn? If we uh, gave some people in the middle age group a little hope that they can do and accomplish anything that they want to, if they want it hard enough, then my season of 70 was, wor uh, was worthwhile. But uh, I didn't think anything. I thought I was 21. Blocked up at seven seconds, and here comes George Blanda onto the field. The 16-yard line, LaMonica will spot it. He waits. It's snap. It's spotted. It's kicked. It is. Good. George Blanda has kicked the Oakland Raiders into a three-point lead. And this man made by the San Francisco Bay Area up into a knock. 
it is accurate to say that his miracle season in 1970 made the greatest impact on pro football for heroism and thrills that the game has ever known. Blanda was named Player of the Year in 1970, and that amazing season did more to establish his greatness than his many records and accomplishments. Five years later, he retired at age 49, leaving the game as its all-time leading scorer. George Blanda played 26 seasons, more than anyone in NFL history.